I first saw her in the blanket and my dad showed me and then next week he showed me her and I said oh they're keeping her Michelle and uh, I thought it was funny uh, my stepmother's father I kind of had a lot of connections with him he had curly hair he's a Virgo he's out he drunk a lot and I wonder what pain he was going through he's a butt of jokes and so was I I remember I cut my hair wrong one time doing bowling and I came back and I looked like a Reverend Moon or Steve A. Smith my hairline was way back they all laughed at me and I always felt like maybe I was too sensitive my mom was gay uh, my dad ran for city councilman. He was the campaign manager for the guy that came, ran for city councilman after him. Uh, my dad knew when he came second. The guy he lost to was president of city council. He was quite a big scam, scam scandal. The guy uh, had to resign. And then uh, the guy, Mike Nutter, my dad was his campaign manager when he ran for, campaign, when he ran for city councilman. He eventually became mayor of Philadelphia. My dad, I'm just rolling things randomly. Uh, slab. When I left home at 18, and uh, my dad gave me $100 to a suburban station, got some song. No, um, some I thought New Hope, the good ship of New Hope, and it's false, and I'm just naive, and I would never let my kid go to, uh, to New York by himself, don't know what's going on, just a hundred dollars. That was I always been mad about my. He told my mom that made him a man, like no. Uh, he has a famous story. He Will Smith got spanking. He picked up my sister. My dad went around here, and he told him, like, he was cool at first, and then Will said something. He said, "Look, I will whip your ass and your dad's ass." And Will Smith, you super famous, but tell me if I'm wrong. If he didn't say that, okay. And uh, what else happened here? Ah. Damn, I lost my train of thought. Oh, he corrected a report card, a t shirt made. He didn't like the way he said something about me in the report card. He said it back grammatically correct. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, now, some class clown junior high school, and t shirt didn't like me, and she gave a bad report about me. Parents, you know, student day. And he came in, she eventually came to apply for a job at a, uh, like a group home that he didn't hire. Harvey went to the same group home. And before I talk about deja vu, I didn't know Harvey then. I'm 13 years older. My dad's a supervisor of the group home. I think he remembers Harvey. They talk on the phone, but I never came up. Uh, he used to get Slim Jims as his kids. I thought it was cool. One time he's driving to Montrose. It's near Scram. Joe Biden lived. And uh, uh, this is like the only black family. My grandma was a maid. And uh, me and my sister Michelle was seeing. They kept him awake during a snowstorm. So that's funny. He spent hot and seek in the house. That was pretty cool. And uh, you know, me and Michelle used to compete a lot like that. He loves me more. And uh, 16, I was talking on the phone with my grandpa, my mom's father, and she was talking loud, so I pushed her. And then he told me, well, you can push her, you can push me. So I had to leave home at 16. It was, it was basically a runaway, but I went to stay with my grandfather. He used to punch holes in the wall. Uh, my mom's apartment was a t-shirt. She never, he never repaired them, though, which I saw how powerful he was. He spanked the hell out of me for like 10 minutes while I peed the bed. I was nervous. I don't know what the hell. I saw him a four-year sleep while I did that. Um, I wrote down my mom. I didn't tell my mom in years, like six, seven years. I had rest of a failure. I smoked K2 by accident. I didn't know. And blah, blah, blah. And Natasha left me. Harvey died. I think I'm too much. And my cat, 10 years, was dying. And then she came by and said, um, uh, she knows a neighbor across the hall from me. I never even talked to this dude. Like, hi, goodbye. And she knows he was gay, the way he acted. So oh, he's still, he's gay. And I'm like, I got mad at my mom. Like, get the F in my apartment. I'm tired of this gay shit. You know, get out. And I ain't seen him in six, seven years. Uh, one time she said, my mom said, and she wasn't ghetto. Nobody in my family was ghetto. Ghetto basically is saying, like, uh, my family was educated and they had money, you know. I'm not putting on ghetto people. It's how you, that's how we classify. You know, we just fellow nigga house niggas. You know, you know who you are. And I'm not saying I'm better because, shoot, I live in the hood now. I work in the hood. But uh, I still got cops in mentality. And that's how we, that's why I look at my dad and I picture of Google in front of the church. That's how you grew up. And um, I grew up in the church. And um, I'm not, now I'm totally, it doesn't even make sense to me because it's like, I'm not going to live in the past thousand years ago. I could look at all these things going on today and like, it's the same thing. Poor people are screwed over by rich. You know, a lot of people are victimized. You got to overcome adversity. And hopefully when you die, you see people that care about you. That's all that matters. And uh, my, my mom set the glass out of his hand uh, one time in an argument in front of the neighbors, and uh, she used to send my Mother's Day card for <laughs> Mother's Day. So, you know, it got a little sensitive. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm in it because, uh, no, 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 no. Miss Bart, I, I joke about, he used to, like, I thought it was kind of fake. My dad was really straight up. But he was like, he saw the neighbors that Miss Barbara had. She had short hair, like Jada Pinkett. And he's in, uh, and then I was like, she looked at me because I smoked pot. I mean, I came back and visited one time after 18. And I was like, that's what pop with your son. But she looked at me after some drug ass. I said, do you realize this nigga was talking about you? I said, think to myself, he's a big fan of Muhammad Ali and Mr. Pryor and so am I. The happiest memories of my family, my dad's side, my dad's dad, my sister's Christmas Day. And they play like um, Jackson 5 Christmas album, Motown Christmas album, Nat King Cole. I love that song. 
Uh, one time I was, it's like a tour yesterday. You got like pumping like water and the rock was and the rock was on the roof one time. And that little letter to uh, Santa's like, can you get that rock off the roof? And my dad wrote me a letter back. He said, Santa couldn't get it, but uh, uh, we had boy, he brought you a track instead. <laughs> and I remember Debbie, my first love, and I grew up by Thanksgiving. He was kissing in the back seat, and then uh, he was driving us home. And he looked in the rearview mirror and he smiled. I could tell. And uh, I have a lot of great memories from dad. I played chess. He told me I played chess. He remember he told me about a book called Death of the Salesman. That was really deep. And uh, yeah, first time I drank beer was with him, and that was like a manhood when I first drank beer. Even though we both were like kind of alcoholics. And there's so many more things. I wish I had the five pages I forgot today. I wrote things top of my head. Um, the good, bad, and ugly. I love my dad. Kind of like resent him in a lot of ways. I hate the mind games that play with me, like some black singer for it. He should have been more supportive of me in terms of like, yo, dude, my mom is gay. Take me to gay for race elementary school. Dude, seriously. And you being a crap about me? It's amazing I, I turned out the way I have. And um, I have a lot of flaws. I have a lot of strengths. I met with 200 celebrities. I've been in a dozen movies. My best friend was famous. I remember playing sports with Will Smith as a kid. Not all the time. And I didn't even talk to him much after he got spanked because he picked on my sister. We, that's why he remember me more because I was Michelle's brother. <laughs> so anyway, this is your 80th birthday. I can't believe that. Well, I can't believe I'd be 11 days, 59. I'll probably never see you again in life. I don't hate you, Dad. I love you. It's my way of saying, listen, enjoy your day. Um, I wish things didn't turn out this way. Um, he was a good guy and uh, I made a lot of mistakes so did you but we have to forgive I forgive you I forgive Brenda I forgive my mom um, you have to forgive because this guilt is killing me and um, it's true you have to forgive enjoy your day dad happy birthday